What's good, y'all? It's Coffee back with the news, man. And y'all see the unveiling of the statue made to honor the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder in his hometown of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Man, and y'all can see he was just simply amazed by how they captured his likeness. Like, y'all see him the way he was just admiring the statue and just, I don't know, it just seemed like he really was taken back by this now peep it man i gotta let y'all know this is not coffee's point of view or anything like that but i saw some people commenting and saying yo why they wait till he loses again to do this they should have did this when he was holding the title and you know putting on for bama and whatnot like do y'all think that's ludicrous and ridiculous for someone to say or do you think that they have a point that you know that puts a damper on this moment i mean not, I, I i can't see that being the case for wilder i'm sure you know this is a proud amazing day for him but i saw quite a few people actually comment that like what do you guys think now you can see wilder um you know commemorated this moment via his social media he said what an amazing event to be a part of and a very special moment in history my statue will be here for generations to come and I got my flowers while I was alive. That's a big deal, right? So often, whether it be sports, music, whatever, people don't get their flowers until they're not here anymore. What does Nori always say? You gotta give them their flowers while they can smell them in the trees, while they can inhale them, right? Uh, thank you so much to all that was involved. I love you guys and thanks to my city and state for there's no damn place like home. Blessings. <laughs> So uh, it's happening on that. Moving along, talking about something made in someone's likeness and someone's image. Y'all can see that with this tattoo here. That's not the case. This was a miss, a fail, and whatever, like, whatever else you could call it. It's just all bad, man. Like, let's be honest. Um, yo, someone captioned this. I know there's a, a real creative funny as fuck caption out there um man like i truly wonder if we're gonna see 50 cent comment on this via uh the gram you know fifth is the king of instagram fifth is the king of instagram comedy this we know he's always got time for the for like the littlest thing so you know when it comes to this something directly involving him fifth's gotta go off who knows he might already did it and i just ain't seen it yet right i feel like he definitely is gonna have some jokes for this but uh i'm not really uh familiar with this dude show show ya it says uh, african artist show ya got a 50 cent tattoo my mentor and father in music and for real man again this is just all bad like this almost seems like a joke someone tell me this is a joke and i, I just I, i'm just not up on it or something i don't know this is all bad but uh for real let me see what everyone's uh caption game is looking like all right. school in new mexico many of the just in case show me your weapons and tell me what they are 45 sir 45 i'm assistant pastor this is the 45 yes director of security 45. The pastor carries a 45 in a case that looks like a Bible. The principal is also armed with a 38 semi automatic pistol. How many of you feel safer knowing that your teacher has a gun? All of you. School in New Mexico. Though many of the teachers carry guns just in case. Show me your weapons and tell me what they are. 45, sir. 45. Auto. Assistant Pastor, this is the 45. Yes, Director of Security. 45. The pastor carries a 45 in a case that looks like a Bible. The principal is also armed with a 38 semi-automatic pistol. How many of you feel safer 
knowing that your teacher has a gun. All of you. Right, y'all, time to get uh, serious real quick here. Um, you know, I haven't really spoke much about these events, uh, you know, at the school and whatnot. Very, it's, to be honest, it, it's, it's depressing. Uh, it, it's scary. You know what I'm saying? As a parent, like for real, for real, everyone, please don't join the discussion um, regarding all this. I, I truly wonder, is there anyone that since you saw this happen, like has decided to homeschool their kids to keep them out of school? Um, it's just crazy, man. I, I don't really know what to say about it. Like I said, it just it, it freaks me out. So sad, so tragic. It's fucked up. Like I haven't even really dived into that story at all. And then, you know, we just saw some other events, not at schools, but some other horrible, tragic events go down right before this. But I believe this is a, uh, a private school in New Mexico. And listen, this is something I saw before maybe a year, year and a half ago. I, I can't remember what state it is because this is what I'm wondering. Um, as we know, laws, uh, weapon laws vary from state to state. And um, this is a private school. So I wonder if that changes um, them being able to do this, being that it's a, a, a private facility where if it's public, like does the school board got to vote on it? I don't know, but you see uh, the principal got that 38 special the the, uh, the Bible um, case is a, is a nice touch as well, right? And then we got uh, the security uh, in in both the pastors got forty fives. I mean, th this is uh, got to be a good thing, right? Like, comment with your thoughts. The only thing that I saw when this was going on uh, before, when I saw discussions about this, actually, I believe when I saw it before, it was in Florida. You know, people are saying, well, hey, we want uh, the teachers to have that that are going to be doing this to have uh, mental evaluations and whatnot to make sure that that they're safe uh, to, to do this, to be strapped up or whatever. But I, I just want to hear everyone's thoughts. If you're for this, um, if you know if they're already doing this in other places in the country again. As always, let you know whenever the topic comes up, I'm not really a weapons dude. When I say that, I don't mean I'm not against it. I just mean I never really had any. I I, I don't really know much about GUNSs and all that. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. Do you believe that this is indeed the answer? Uh, comment. And also, I did see, as I stated, I didn't really dive into this story. It's just it's it's scary. It's it's terrifying. You know, it freaks you out, man. It's like you see an ish like this happening and it's like, man, is there other crazy evil motherfuckers out there that they see that this went down and then they get an idea? You know what I mean? But um, I saw someone commenting or so I believe it was on Mr. Diddy's page. Shout out Mr. Diddy, where there were some people commenting and saying that at that uh, school um, was there an armed officer there and he hid or something like that. Because I feel like we heard this before in another situation. And I saw some people commenting and just saying, yo, that happens all too much. That, you know, there's someone there with a GUN and they don't, they, they're not built for that moment. So, I don't know, comment. Next up, this is some hip hop news. I got a link pinned. You guys got to check this out, all the hip hop heads out there. This dude spits I, like it was just a clip of of what he was spitting but it, it was fire man um you see my sign I, I got the uh link pinned if you haven't seen it go check it out come back the dude's name on the gram is at the real simba and i don't believe i heard of this dude man i like but he's nasty with it comment if you're already up on him or whatnot if you already heard this freestyle if you didn't again the link's pinned below go peep it come back but my son shared it and he shared you know, he put it in quotes and shared some of the bars. Peep it. He said, Corey Miller got more time than the cops that killed Brianna and Larry Hoover. Or that killed Brianna and Larry Hoover just about to come home. Don't get me started. One day this justice system gonna catch karma. Cause Big Meech ain't sell more dope than Big Pharma. He was going in, man. This this ish was is lit. I gotta 
I got to get more uh, tuned in with what the real Simba's got going on musically because he's nice with it. And then last on the rundown, man, you see the news of Justin Timberlake selling his uh, catalog for $100 million dollars to hip genosis this company i guess as uh you know there's been quite a few people over i want to say the past year selling their catalog and i believe this particular company has purchased uh, a lot of those catalogs that we were just referring to that's been going down over the last year and i'm curious what does everyone think of this with the artists doing this like i mean i don't know man in business um we see trends and stuff like that but i i'm just i'm surprised to see artists doing this you know we always hear like owning your own music is everything why do you think they're they're uh all doing this is there just not really this is just the best way to monetize off it i don't know it just kind of surprises me let me know what you guys think about this move but that concludes the news thanks for tuning in it's coffee i'm out of here i'll catch you guys on the next one don't forget to subscribe stay tuned uh let's talk in the comments it's coffee music news sports much more i'm out of here y'all subscribe peace